Hi, this is Tyler at Truncale again, here in this 2014 Chrysler Town & Country. I have just finished talking about the gauge cluster and how to operate the menu system there, as well as the buttons on the back of the steering wheel. Now let's talk a little bit more about what we got here on the front of the steering wheel. Real quick, we'll cover this. This is your cruise control. Pretty self-explanatory. This button here turns your cruise on and off. That will cancel the cruise while you're cruising. Now, here's how you set your cruise if it isn't already. If you are cruising at, say, 65 miles an hour and you want to slow your speed, cruising speed by 3 miles an hour, you just tap this set button three times. See, that's what the little minus is about. Likewise, if you want to increase your cruising speed by, say, 4 miles an hour, you tap the top button, the plus button, four times. Over here is VR, which is voice recognition for your radio. That button right there and this button right here do the same exact thing. Here is your phone button, that button here, and this button here do the, the same exact thing. Why are they on the steering wheel? Because that's how you control your vehicle so you can keep your hands on your, on your steering wheel and your eyes on the road. Give you an example of how to adjust your radio station by voice. Keep in mind what radio station you want to switch to. So say you want to switch to 98.5, what we're going to do is tap this button, wait until the system beeps, and make sure that we're the only one talking, like this. 98.5 pretty easy right likewise you can also change between AM FM and satellite using that same button like so remember again speak after the beep and be the only one talking satellite radio and it changes over to satellite now while on satellite you can change channels by either station name or station number, whichever you know best. And you can do that like so. Here again, hitting this button. 26. In addition to that, if you know the station name, you can change that as well. You can do it like this. Lithium. So again, either the station name or the station number will work. Now, while you're listening to satellite radio, you got some cool things going on. For instance, if you like the song or artist that's playing, you hit this little button right here, and you can add that artist or song to a favorite list. So anytime you're listening to satellite, if you have an artist or song that comes on a channel you're not listening to, your radio will give you a notice and ask if you want to go to that channel and listen to it. You not only can do that with songs or artists, you can also do that with your favorite sports teams. Replay right here is also a great feature. If you have DVR on your TV at home, you know what it's like to be able to pause live TV and rewind it and review it again. With this, you can do the same with your radio on satellite only. Hit replay and then rewind to rewind what you just listened to and hear it again. Just hit live to go back to live radio and it'll go back to live radio for you. This search button right here is how you bring up Game Zone. And with you living in Arizona, I'll just do an example. Hit Setup and Favorite Teams. And let's say there is a baseball team you like and you like the Diamondbacks. So you select the Diamondbacks. And then you go over here to Alerts. And then it's set to give you a notice when the game comes on. If you want to change that, just hit game to where it'll update you with a score. Hit that again where it won't update you. Hit it a third time where it'll update you with everything, the score, and ask you if you want to go listen to the game. And one of my favorite features about these radios is Sirius XM Travel Link. If you're out and about and you need gas, pull up Travel Link and you can hit fuel prices. And what that will do is it will use your satellite radio system, Sirius XM, to pull in information from nearby gas stations. Let's say we want to go to racetrack, and it gives you the grades of fuel offered at that gas station, as well as the prices and the last date those, those grades are reported. If you don't know how to go there, hit route and navigation will take you there. In addition to that, also in Travel Link, if you just got done eating dinner and you want to catch a movie, hit Movie Times. It'll pull up your close-by movie theaters. You'll be able to review 
what's playing, the show times, the rating, the runtime, a synopsis of the movie, just pick a theater. If you don't know how to go there, there's a route button and nav will route you to that theater. It's a nice little system right there, and again, I'm sure you're going to get plenty of plenty of enjoyment from it. That is that service travel link is free to you for one year. After one year, if you want to keep it, it's a whopping dollar ninety nine a month. So that's something that I'm paying for on my radio, and I'm very grateful that I have it. Over here in navigation, this is Garmin, but it's built in, and it's a nice little system here. If you have any questions about how to operate this, please tell me and I'll be happy to answer them for you and step you through it to make sure you get full enjoyment out of your navigation system. When you go to listening to CDs, this button up here that says load, hit that button, it opens up the face and right in there is where you load a CD. You can also load a DVD in there to play on your DVD system. I know there will be questions about this right here, so again, please call me and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Down here is your air conditioning system, as well as your heated steering wheel and heated seats. Now right now the AC is set to low for all three zones. If you hit sync, that will synchronize all three temperature zones, so when you move your temperature up or down, it'll move all three zones and if you want to let it control it automatically just hit auto and it'll attempt to achieve those temperatures for you inside the vehicle again just change your temperature to whatever it is you want it set at maybe a little noisy on the phone right now so I'm going to turn the fan down you can do that with this knob right here this button right here selects which blowers are going to run so which or where your air is going to come from okay this recirculates your air. If you want ex exclusively defrost, you hit the button here and that diverts all the air up to your defroster. You hit it again. Sorry, I messed up. You just hit over here for it to go back to doing what it was doing. This button right here will lock the rear AC controls, which are right there. You notice if it's not locked, then I'm able to control it using those buttons behind or the knobs behind me. But if I hit lock, then I can't do anything with the buttons overhead. That's your temperature zone. That is a passenger temperature zone. And if you want to control the rear AC, just hit this rear button. And then you can control it from up here. Or somebody in the back can control it as long as the rear AC controls are unlocked. A lot of questions come up about this button right here. Econ, what that's going to do is change how the transmission shifts to help improve your fuel economy. This turns on a power outlet. A power outlet like what you'd find in the wall of your house. That power outlet is behind me on the C pillar where the sliding door is. I'll show you that here in just a moment. This turns off your traction control. And down here below you'll see you've got a cup holders. There's cup holders galore inside this vehicle, a total of 13. Down here you have two power outlets. The one on the left has got a key, meaning it has power to it only when the key is on. The one on the right, picture of a battery on it, meaning it's got power to it full time. You've got another power outlet inside here. And you can see, let me get it finagled here, that's got a battery on it as well, so that has power to it full time. Go ahead and plug that in. And I'll show you where your media connections are. We're going to open our sliding door. Hoping you're able to see this okay. See, you've got an HDMI input up here. You have RCA jacks here, you got a power outlet here, and here's the one that I was telling you about, the three prong outlet like what you find in the wall of your house. It's not going to run a blender or a hair dryer, but yes it'll keep a laptop charged, to cell phone charged, you can also plug in a game console there. You also have USB ports here as well that you can use for charging or streaming.
There's lots more to talk about, especially your DVD system. When you go to use that the first time, please call me. Again, that number is 678-341-1240 or on my cell at 470-296-1778, and I'll be happy to help you along. Thanks once again for listening.